Hello everybody. Okay, so I started working on the second apocalypse design, which would be my shirt for the apocalypse photo shoot. And I wanted to show you how it's going so far and my design skills are very low when it comes to fashion, but I think I am nailing this so far. So I wanted to show you what I've done with my piece and what I'm about to try to do with my piece. So second tutorial on how to make a zombie apocalypse tank top for a girl. Here we go. So basically, I just have this white shirt, and I cut the sleeves off of it for the tank top effect. And I also cut a v-neck into it. Now it looks kind of ragged, but that's okay, because apocalypse, right? And I'm going to use the sleeves that I cut off. Now you could use these as props, like other fashionable statements for the design, or I'm going to cut it into strips and make a crisscross effect, kind of like one of Michonne's tank tops from The Walking Dead. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to cut holes through here so I can tie it off so there's no sewing needed. I will just tie them off. So hopefully this all works out as planned. Okay, so the holes are like little V's, which is okay because I didn't have anything to puncture this with. So I'm just using the scissors which is fine because we can still get the fabric through here and tie it off in the orderly fashion that I am looking for. So basically if you want this, you just bunch it up, maybe about slightly under an inch from each hole and do a little chop. Okay, now we're going to move on to taking the cutoff sleeve and we're gonna cut the seam part off where the shirt was sewed together so that won't be a problem. And we're just gonna be left with fabric. And yes, I am working on a nail polish case kit, if you were wondering, because I do not have a proper place to be working, because our house is really tiny, but it still works out great, and so, let's go. Alright, after we have... Shut up. After we have this part cut off of it, don't need that. So, we're just going to cut the long strip here to make the tie. So it is going good. As you can see I took the thicker piece and I put it straight lined across the top the first two slots and then I basically kept knotting it up so they won't come through the holes that were punctured in the shirt. So and now we're going to make the crisscross design which is taking the smaller thin pieces that I cut the sleeve off of and directing them like basically lacing converse shoes. That's how I would put it. You're gonna lace it up with converse shoes. Now with these strips, you can go ahead and dye them if you want to. I am going ahead and just putting mine on to make sure that it came out correctly. And so you can either do that whichever way you want to do it. It's optional. Okay, so we got it all tied up. It does look a little sloppy, but you know what, that's that's alright because we are in the apocalypse and as you can tell from the cutoff sleeves that she could have just cut off her own sleeves and put her own shirt together that she ripped apart in the apocalypse because it's a hot summer day and obviously you don't want to overheat when you're running away from zombies. So it's okay if it looks terrible. Now what I'm going to do is each of these pieces I'm going to take off in the alignment that I put them in here and dye them and then I'm going to re-put them back in here so I won't get them mixed up and I can put this look back the way I just created it. Okay so for the part that I just did where I'm connecting the material to the other stuff I'm going to dye those like a blackish gray so they can stand out but if you decide to go with a different color than the color of your shirt, make sure to dye around the sleeve area the same color because we wanted the appeal to be that she cut off her sleeves and basically created this summery shirt in the middle of the apocalypse so she would be comfortable to the weather. So here we go. Now I am going to put just a tad bit of white in here to get the gray effect. Now we're going to mix it with hot water like we did on the other video. Okay, so it looks green because this bottle that I'm mixing it in has a yellow tinge to it. But I promise you, it's gray. So, let's go! 
Alright, the first strip has been dyed and it is still wet, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the shirt and let it dry on the shirt. So like I said, we're taking them off in order, not all at once, so we can lace it back up the way we had it. Alrighty, check it out! It's done. Okay, you can see the little dye splats that I was made by the wet material, but you know what? That is perfectly fine. This is gonna look great, guys. Now, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to dye the sleeves the same color, like these little ridges that are left around here where the seam is. And I possibly might even do the collar of it so everything will match on the shirt to make it look like the shirt was already made this way. So, let's do it! Alrighty! Here is what we have so far! It's coming along great, I'm loving it. And these are laying down because it's soggy. Oh no, it came out! It came out! Okay, well I'll put it back in. <laughs> anyway, so this is how where we are so far. The designing process is going great! I have started dyeing the shirt in actually the opposite color of what I dyed John's shirt in. I'm using the green brown, like the mossy color, to actually dye this shirt. And I'm going to use the brown and gold mix that I stained his all of his shirt with to make the stains on this one to give it the opposite effect and it goes a little better with the gray that I put on the shirt. Oh, this is a DIY tutorial but just check out my little dog. Just check out what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're being adorable. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you see nothing. Alright, we are almost done with my apocalypse shirt. All we need is the blood and the cuts, and we will have it done. Alrighty, the shirt is finished. I think it looks great. I got some holes in it. I put the holes in it. And now I'm going to work on an arm piece like I've been injured and it's wrapped around my arm. So let's get to that. Okay, so I'm taking the cutoff sleeve of the shirt and I am going to turn it over. I'm going to cut this so we can wrap it around the wrist and get the size that we need. All right. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make a cut at the edge of the sleeve, where it was cut originally, on both sides. And, like I said, these scraps that we kept from the sleeves, they will come in handy because that's what we're going to tie it off with. Alright, now after we have the incision holes in both sides, we're going to take the other sleeve that we used to make the strings for the neckline, and we're going to cut this leftover really long strip. Now if you guys do not have this anymore because you cut too much sleeve, you're going to have to find a piece of string or something to use to tie this off or maybe even some injury tape or something from a first aid kit would even work perfectly. Alright, change of events guys. So obviously my arm is super tiny and so this is way too big for my arm, and I could technically cut this down, whatnot, and make it bigger. But I still got this little piece over here I could work with, but um, I'm going to put this on my leg instead. So, yeah, it's going to be a leg injury instead of an arm injury. But if your arm is big enough for this, then I say go to it. I am going to replace it with my leg though. So, here goes with the design. Now, we'll also remember guys, the sleeves were gray. And you want to keep the color palette the same as what you did on the tank top to make it look like you ripped your sleeve off in a hurry and bandaged yourself up. Like you got scratched or you fell when you were running or whatnot, maybe even a zombie bit you. But you just want to keep it the same. Alright, remember that the blood area of the wound, whatever you're trying to cover up, is the main focus. Because it's bleeding through, you're just trying to patch it up until you can get stitched or... I don't know. Whatever your story is in the apocalypse, that's the main focus of the costume. Okay, and the wound piece is also finished. So 
that's finished and the shirt is finished thank you guys for watching my tutorial on how to make a woman's apocalyptic tank top slash wound healing band thing if there was anything missing from this video that you did not get go check out my other video where i made the man's apocalyptic shirt for more information thank you for watching please subscribe to the wedding vlog if you are interested in watching the rest of our wedding unfold. We already took one wedding tour and there's going to be more to come. Thanks for watching. Bye.